Okay, so we're gonna play some ColecoVision games here. Yep. Uh, there's actually even more of these. You seem to have like twice as many as what I was showing here. Yeah. Um, yeah, ColecoVision. Sure, yeah, let's, let's go. <laughs> you did the nerd episodes in television and Coleco, ColecoVision a long time ago, but we've never done a James and Mike Money. We've done a bunch of Atari videos. The reason why it, we've taken so long to get to it is my, Cole my old ColecoVision didn't really work that great. We just never did it at your place. I know you have that, but the other reason is you know, I've been getting what all my systems. the nerd episode, uh, Double Vision. Yeah. Television, ColecoVision. I've been getting all my systems, like, modded and all that, so I now I have an RGB modded ColecoVision, which is kind of, like, not... Most people, like, mod, like, an NES or something like that, or, you know, if they're doing the stuff, so not and not too many people do modded ColecoVision stuff. They modded ColecoVision. I, I, actually, maybe, maybe what we could do later today, I actually have the modded RGB uh, CDI, so if you want to play some... Some per some CDI in that perfect clarity. So there's a uh, Rocky on ColecoVision. Um, yeah. I haven't played that. Yeah, yeah let's, let's, see. let's do that. Yeah, hopefully it works. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right, there it is. Okay. All right. So usually what happens is a menu like this comes up. You still have to use the old um, yeah. ColecoVision controller, which mm -hmm. is you know this one. Mm -hmm. And to select the thing, I would hit one for skill. Oh my god. Oh, that's pretty good for ColecoVision. Listen. Wow, did you hear the, the tune? Like, for, da, 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 da. for Coleco. All right. Now, the other thing. So, Rocky Three was the newest movie when this came out because of the date. Um, so, that's pretty crazy. This is a great game. <laughs> wow. And you know, I'm actually surprised. It looks it like them. I was expecting it to look like uh, Atari. Atari Boxing or yeah. something. I, I thought it was going to be really bad. ColecoVision is not a bad system, man. Yeah. And you know, this is a really funny question, but yeah. did I review this on the uh, the Rocky video? I don't know if you had it. I don't not. think so. I think it was just I don't the, remember uh, it. Yeah. I think it was Sega Master System. It was definitely Sega Master System. And was that the only game in that video? What do you like? Was it? It wasn't like a compilation. Like it was which, just which video are you talking uh, about? The Rocky Nerd video. Yeah. From 2006. Yeah, I think it was the. I think it was just the Sega Master System one. I guess so. Yeah. yeah. I guess that was before every video had to be like every, you know, <laughs> like like now. It, that's great. The music's awesome. That was before every video had to be like you know. If, today, if I reviewed a Rocky game, I'd be, I'd have to like Do all cram it. Okay, here's every Rocky game that was made. Yeah. During this era. Well, I mean, not necessarily, but yeah. But I know what you mean though. Sometimes you do. Yeah, Some like the ones. Power Rangers video. It was like, okay, yeah. well, I'm just gonna have to do this Power Rangers game. Then there's that Power Rangers game. And right. Before you know it, it's like this long, long video. <laughs> right. Well, you did. Uh, I think you did the Crow. That was just one game, right? Yeah. So there's certain ones you still do. One. Yeah, I try to not go down the rabbit hole too far because every game tends to like just um, open up the doors for like. It doesn't end, is what I'm saying. It's like you could be working on a video forever because it's like, okay, it's never really done because there's always some other game that belongs to that franchise and it just keeps on going. I don't. So you have to put like a cutoff at some point, or else the video will never get done. I don't really see any anything else to really do other than just like punch like this. I'm like hit, trying to hit other directions. Yeah, I mean, it's it's. I guess I shouldn't expect too much. Yeah. Right? Look at the guy's face in the middle. He has like no he face. Has no face. And Actually, it, nobody really has a face. It, but at least they have noses. You can I am see. I am impressed that his pants are a slightly different green than the background. Like, a slightly different green. You know, they yeah. don't totally blend in. They don't totally blend. In. Where you would think that they, they would like, like Texas Chainsaw Massacre on Atari. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, but look at his gloves. Oh, his gloves his, are his totally gloves. disappearing. Oh yeah. no, you know what? They, they, they are. More. They're like his. They're like the dude's pants green kind. They of. are. Yeah. They got like all these hues of green in here. Yeah. I mean, you know what would have been better? Just don't use two greens. Just make it red. Or, or make his gloves purple like uh, uh, fucking his underwear. <laughs> underwear. His, his well, trunks. <laughs> so I'm wondering, if you're fighting Clubber Lang, yeah. then do you fight anybody else? Because well, if, that's I, really the I mean, last thing. This fighting is like... I feel like I'm not really getting anywhere. Yeah. Um, so I'm feeling like this is Rocky Three, the game. It isn't really... Because you know how the other games... Oh, uh, I, I lost. Yeah. I don't know. I've never played right, this. I don't know how to shot it. Yeah. Sure, yeah. yeah. All right, which button's punch? It's, that, it's this. Both of them? No. Just oh, like, just the right one? Yeah. Okay. That's what I was saying. Like, that I feel sucks. like there's, that. Well, there's probably more to it that we don't know. Maybe. I would think. But I don't have, like, the instruction manuals or anything, so... Yeah, that, that can always happen. And I actually... I, I haven't played every single one of my games, so I actually have never played this before, so I don't... 
I have no idea. So let's see, can, can we beat Clover Lang? Oh, the red thing's going, I see. Yeah. Basically just punch yeah. him more than I'm just doing, punching I'm him. doing all right. Yeah. Oh, no, I, I guess oh. not. Never mind. <laughs> oh. What do you do? <laughs> Get up, you son of a bitch! Get up, you son of a bitch! I, I'm a little bit confused because I'm hitting him way more than he's hitting me, at least I I think. He might be blocking it. Or... Probably, but... I mean, he's Clubber Lang. Yeah, he is Clubber Lang. Oh, I, look, I, look, look, it's going down. I wonder if it's like Mike Tyson's pot punch out to where, like, when you punch somebody, you know how, like, look. little Mac will go pink? Uh-huh. So I wonder if you're gonna... Oh, look, look, I got him, it. I got him! He should be going down. But then, look, see, look what happened. Yeah. See what I mean? Yeah. When that gets full, you go down. Wait a minute. Did they switch the meters? Am I looking at It might be. Maybe, maybe... I don't believe... I don't buy it. He looks like... I think it's the opposite. I think your thing is on the left. It's the low one. Wait. I don't know. Well, no. The red is, is when it's... No, it's definitely like I'm hitting them. This makes no sense. I don't know. See, I've been hitting him, and I've been watching, and right. his meter gets more red the more I hit him. So every time I hit him, it more red, more red, more red. And now it's like all red. Don't you think he should be going down? Oh, oh yeah, there you go. So I win by decision. Well, now hopefully yeah. we can say if there's another character. I yeah. kind of doubt it. I very, very much doubt it. Especially if it goes backwards, then you start fighting Apollo. I would think, because this is probably came out when... Well, Rocky the third Three, one yeah, yeah. So I was saying, the date on it. That this is the newest movie. Is that like it? That's like that's the probably the, the whole game. I beat the game. Just there you go. There. Oh, good. James, look at that. James right. beat a ColecoVision game. Yeah, I beat. Uh, wait, hang on. Let's make sure. Yeah, I guess that's it. So this is a game called BC's Quest for Tires. Uh, BC was an old uh, like comic strip. I don't know if you remember that, like the caveman and, and all that in the comics. Oh yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah. it was a, like a Sunday paper thing. It, it was a newspaper comic strip. Yeah, yeah. So this is this is actually by Sierra Online. Sierra made a lot of the mm -hmm. um, popular like '80s, early '90s uh, computer games. Mm -hmm. um, you know, like King's Quest and Space Quest and that kind of stuff. Anyway, uh, this game I used to have on Commodore 64, mm -hmm. and back then we got our Commodore 64 mm -hmm. for. It was like to do your homework. That was like the idea, but you could play games on it too, like when there's time to play games, you know? Um, but really it was supposed to be for homework. We never used the Commodore 64 for homework. We only played games on it, but we didn't have a lot of games. We just had a couple floppy disks that our neighbors gave mm -hmm. us. But one of the actual games that we owned was BC's Quest for Tire. So I remember playing this a lot, but on Commodore 64. Okay. Um, so, but I, I tried this on uh, on this and it's pretty, this is pretty close to what the Commodore 64 game mm -hmm. was. And this is just something that I'm nostalgic for. This is probably not a game that a lot of people remember. Okay. Because okay. you know there's a lot of like old games like that that I know you got some that probably not many people remember, like mm. Catacombs and Nemon and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Where it's like people, you ask people and people be like, what the hell are you talking yeah, about, yeah. you know? <laughs> so that this game is a little bit like that to mm -hmm. me. Um, not as obscure as Catacombs of Nemon. Yeah, though. yeah. Oh, we gotta do that sometime. Yeah, we, yeah, we can do that. So, I, yeah. I really remember this. Do you? Yeah. Did you have this one? Yeah, I mean, it, it probably differed a bit. Like, I might have played it on a on a PC of some kind. Probably right. the Commodore. I don't know. Yeah. Well, I don't. Um, you didn't. I don't think you had the Commodore, right? I didn't have one. Um, I mean, it's possible I could have played it maybe at somebody's house. Well, I think they had this on a lot of stuff. They probably did, because you know, all the games I played were DOS games. Yeah. So they probably had like a DOS version of this. I think this was like I think this yeah. was a DOS game. It's crazy to think of all the games that I had. Why don't I still have any of those floppy disks? Like, you know, I mean, for all the things that I still own, it's like that's something that a lot of things you just don't, you know, you're not thinking about at the time. I, I mean, I remember, I feel so guilty about this now, but every kid did it. I, spe I, I specifically remember... The NES boxes? R throwing out the Mega yeah. 3 box. Yeah. Like, I, I can picture me doing it. And yep. now I'm like, why the fuck would I yeah, ever do that? Nobody would have ever thought. But everybody about it. did that. But everybody did Shit. it to the NES boxes and the Super Nintendo boxes because it was a box. Yeah. But Genesis, they were smart. They actually had like the clamshell kind of yeah. thing, so it actually acted as a case to hold the game, and that's what DVDs ended up doing, and they follow that same thing. And so you're saying DVDs got it from the Sega Genesis? Well, I mean, Sega Genesis <laughs> could have got it from like clamshell VHS tapes, like Disney and stuff like that. Oh, that's so true. I don't know. Ooh. See her, her yeah. thing was not, it, you have to get over when the thing's up. Mm. 
I was actually I was playing this really just recently because this was you know I said it was mm-hmm. nostalgic for it, so I actually want to try to do this. Yes! All oh, right. <laughs> I'm like so excited. Yeah. I'm like, oh my god! Whoa, whoa. <laughs> I'm happy we at least got this far. <laughs> I guess that was like the first boss. I guess. But as if bosses existed, like, yeah. at this point in time. Oh shit. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, I've never made it this far. What the fuck do I do? Okay, this is like the same kind of thing. Oh! Mm. <laughs> you know, anymore. I'm impressed that this game keeps on going. Like, there's... there's more to it than it's like not a lot like of games sure yeah yeah damn it do i have any more lives i think that might have been it yeah i mean this is before super mario brothers isn't it uh yeah i, I would think so yeah all right you want to give a shot sure to jump you have to sort of do like a like a box yes. shape with you have to hit up and then over you don't really hit it like no. you know, diagonal or anything. It's it's so primitive. It's like well, you can, you can, but it doesn't really register as well. You have to hit like do a very deliberate up, over, and yes. then down again. Yes, it's like a up, over. Ugh. It's a machine, man. Yeah, it, back it's, then it's it was like it's a yeah, everything's it's, a box. It's, it's very different than uh, than today. Yeah, yeah. It, very different. Even di- very different than Watch Super Mario Brothers. Yeah, yeah, there you go. And duck. There you go. Oh. And Ooh, shit. You got to do everything yeah. when you're like really close to it. Yeah. Because it doesn't stay in the air It's like just long. really awkward. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Ta- it definitely takes some time to get used to. It's hard. Like, it's yeah, not it's easy not, to do. Yeah. No, it's not. And it doesn't stay. <laughs> See, it, it doesn't even stay duck. So, yeah. yeah Ooh, no, no, no. no. You, I, you're not, you don't stay duck. Like, you when, when you get like, near it, you yeah, do it. Yeah, you, you have to it. do it. Near, I was just like experimenting that time. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so it's like you have to do it right before because it's not going to, to stay. Anyway, yeah. that's interesting. That's an interesting uh, specimen there. <laughs> okay, here we got a game called Oil's Well. I guess it's like Oil's Well that ends well. Is that the joke? I, I don't get it. So I don't get it either. I'm point. just making these yeah. things up. <laughs> Okay, so, oh, you know what? I think we can play this with the other controller just to make it oh, really? easier. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, so one second. I like the sounds. Right? I'm a fan of that. Whoa, what just happened? <laughs> Look at the, oh. What is going on with this game? <laughs> I don't even get to say it. That's it. Okay, yeah, we can right. do it with this. Okay. So, you collect so the things. You're, you're and like then... going down for, get oil, but there's monsters down there. That's the plot. Well, yes. Yeah. You're the factory, the oil factory. Yeah, Notice yeah. that it says oil on the top. Yeah. Um, what's kind of cool about You're this? You're the oil oil company. So we're we're the oh shit that thing. I think if you touch it, you, you die. I, I you know in case the audience is confused, I'm this blue line. It's like a um, a thing that the oil company is sticking down into the ground to get the fucking oil stuff. Um, so you can kill these monsters, but only with the fr- only with the front of the line, like the little. Yeah. ED thing. You don't want them to touch the. Uh, yeah. If they yeah. if they touch the wire, you're dead. The other thing is, if you hold the, <laughs> if you hold the button down, yeah. it sucks it back to the oil company. <laughs> Which button? The butt, like oh, any yeah. of the buttons. Sure. All right. so, so you hold, you know, you hold it. So I'm gonna eat that guy, and then you br- yeah. you suck it back as quick as you can. But if anything touches the purple, you're dead. Mm-hmm. Your brown bread. Your brown bread. That's funny. Somebody wrote me an email about that recently <laughs> and how happy they were to hear it. Well, I'm glad that, you know, because that's why I always wrote that. I was, I was hoping that somebody would uh, you would enjoy that because I had a, uh, a co-worker and a friend who worked right next to me uh, like eight hours a day. And then, you know, all, all of his uh, his slang would, would uh, rub off on me. He's from Birmingham. Yeah. Uh, so a lot of that. Uh, you know, that slang, just I kind of picked that up and I started putting in videos just as, you know, a joke to get people to, you know, laugh. Well, correct me if I'm wrong, but that would be, uh, oh, wait, did I just... You're yeah. dead, brown bread. Yes, but I think the, uh, the joke, I, I know that, but the joke, I think, or not joke, because basically they say things different in 
you know, in England. So, um, you know, that specifically was like the, uh, it's, like it's the rhyming slang, like the Cockney kind of slang. Okay. Mm-hmm. See, I, I took it as like, um, if you said, you know, uh, you're toast. Oh, uh, cause like your brown bread, that's your toast. One. Yeah. Your toast. I didn't even think maybe, hmm, maybe they're related somehow. I, I thought it was an English way of saying your toast. Well, it is technically. I mean, it's, a, I, I think it's because it rhymes. I think it's brown bread is dead. I, I think. Okay. I could be wrong. Maybe he got, he got some toast, but like a lot of it, like t- a lot of the slang that he taught me was it either, it either r- rhymes with something else. Yeah. Um, but no, that's a good point too. I'm not sure. To tell you the truth. I'll have to call him up and ask him. Yeah. Don't you hate it when you're just trying to get some oil and then all these monsters are coming out? It's, it's a problem. You know, look at this. Like, like all this stuff is under the ground where they're like mining. It's like, oh yeah, there's like these nuclear, um, hourglasses and little like Pac-Man ghosts and... So it's a lot of work to, to work at the oil company, man. Yeah, the oil oil company. At the oil oil company. Yeah. So oh, okay. I don't know what to do about that. the flashing things. That, I guess you can't touch that. That's bad. That, it blows up the oil factory. I don't know if the flashing ones go through the purple because otherwise, what do you, Ooh, what do, you do? Because um, then it just comes and kills you no matter what. Uh, you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, what, shit, you're right. Yeah, I don't know. So that I haven't yeah. figured out yet. You know what I like? Outside the oil company, there's a little house with a telephone on it. Oh, <laughs> that's the telephone telephone company. <laughs> it's like a Atlantic Bell or whatever. It's like AT&T. Uh-huh. AT&T in 1983. Uh-huh. That's where their home office was, right there. I hate it when you go too far and then you're like... Yeah, and then you have to. Yeah, well, yeah. you don't have to suck all the way back. You can suck back. Oh over. yeah, that's why I should. Oh yeah. fuck! All right, I'm starting to get the hang of it a little more. This is good. I like this game. So, so um, what I'm trying to say, I suck a little less. Yeah, okay, I will. <laughs> yeah, both in the game and and at the game. <laughs> you know, I also like how it says oil one. So that, that's like to tell you this is level, I guess. level one, I guess. Fuck, I, that I don't know. What to, I think that thing next time. I didn't mean to do that, by the way. I yeah. was trying. Well, when those things come, my instinct is just to suck all the way back. But, but he still kills you if does it's he up still top. Kill you? Okay. So that my only thing I can think is like, oh, maybe to let it go through the purple. Uh, like, I don't know what to do with the flashing ones. Because I know, I know, like if yeah, if you like leave your thing like up top and don't touch it, if the if the monsters come. It's fine. And like, it, oh, it's that that would help. Maybe maybe that clears them. Oh, oh I almost got one. I almost got one. Yeah, I did one. Isn't this a good game? This for is good. Yeah. Division? What's this called again? This is called Oil's Well. Oil's Well. That ends well. That's the part I added because mm. I'm a funny guy. Yeah. This is why we do these videos because. We just discovered a game that's, you know, it's a good game that I don't think was talked about in the nerd episode. It's, you know, if you ever, if you, guys, great, if you guys ever get a chance to play this game, if you're into the yeah, older, you know, Atari it's, it's era like games. It's like arcade style uh, game. So it's something like, you know, it makes me think of like, you know, it's a little bit like Dig Dug, Pac-Man. And, it, this know, one's a little different though. It's completely unique, but it's like all those classic arcade style games. Mm-hmm. Like where you have to like clear a bunch of stuff on the screen. Um... It's got a little bit of like snake, you know, the snake game. Mm-hmm. Like it, it, it's just a great. Um, and this is a game that isn't available if you have any. See. It'll go through it. Yeah, see. If you have any kind of coll- collection or whatever, you're not going to find this game. You're going to find like, you know, some of the more popular mm-hmm. games. And that's what happens too with Atari. If you get those like plug and play consoles, it's like yeah, you get some, you'll get some games, but you won't get like all mm-hmm. of the games. You need the original console, and especially with the with those Atari plug and play things. Like a lot of the games you need like the paddle controllers for and like you can't play Kaboom on anything yeah. other than right. You gotta yeah. stop this game. Yeah. I'm gonna keep playing. Yeah. Anyway, this game's good. Yeah.